Hey, Johnny. Um, how's uh, good to see you after a while. Um, what's uh, what's it been like uh, with uh, the new uh, special teams coordinator? Uh, Joe's Joe D's been great. It's been a real joy to work with him to see his attention to detail. Um, just his, his demanding demeanor for all we do with special teams, you know, the expectations are high and, uh, you know, he's, he's demanding of us to practice to be, yeah, real attentive to what we're doing. And, and the, right now we're just working a lot of communication over communicating to make sure that when, when the bullets really start flying against other teams, we're ready to go. And, you know, for a guy that uh, had one, you know, uh, special teams coordinator for so many years now, the, the third and, in three years, is that a big transition for you and what you do, or are, are there enough common threads running through those systems and, and your job that it, it's not a major impact? Yeah, I, I think it changes some of, of, of what I do, but you definitely just try and make sure that those changes don't change how you do it. Um, you know, you just show up and, and give the same enthusiasm and, and uh, just love for the game. I think a lot of guys, what we're really focusing on is some of the verbiage is going to change. Some of the main responsibilities change a bit, but for the most part, special teams is all about effort and attention to detail. And, um, you know, we're just going to do our best to still be an attacking team that really loves the heck out of that phase of the football game and, and uses it as a, you know, a weapon to really, you know, contribute to the outcome of the game going in our favor. And uh, finally, from me, kind of a two-part question. I want to get your evaluation of how you felt you uh, performed last season and how you reacted to the Rams uh, signing another punter. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm my own biggest critic, so I'm never going to be really happy with, with my performance. I think last season I definitely did not perform to the best of my abilities. Uh, there are a few games that I really, um, I don't know, just kind of got just maybe ahead of myself mentally and wasn't focusing on the little things and the little um, areas of my game that, that are what, a tribute to myself going out there and and um and help me just be smooth and be kind of not carefree but just worrying about my technique and what i need to do and not worrying about big picture stuff um so i think last season there's definitely some some kicks out there that i would have liked to have seen go better for the team and for uh, myself but mostly for the team i mean I, I could give a care about my own success i want this team to win games when i don't put ourselves put our team in good positions that that's the stuff that really bugs me uh, so I, you know, I, I think them going out and signing Corey is a great move. Corey's a great punter, a guy that's, you know, done a lot for himself, has grown a ton, you know, been with, with two different teams. Now three coming to us from new England to Buffalo had a great career at Buffalo and um, a guy that has one of the strongest legs I've ever seen, you know, in all honesty, and he's just really talented young guy. So I'm honored to be sharing the field with him, trying to learn stuff from him and, and clean any information I can from what he has and also sharing what I have for him because um, you know, if we compete and, and make this um, a great, you know, special teams room to be a part of, then that's going to help the team in the long run. So I'm really happy, happy for the competition, you know, happy to have Corey here. He's a great young guy that works really hard. Him and Brandon are both guys that are, um, you know, sound technically are going to help just keep me, keep me on my P's and Q's. Thanks, Johnny. Thank you, Gary. Jordan. Hey, Johnny. Good to see you. How you doing? Hey, Jordan. How you doing? <laughs> great. <laughs> Um, so Sean McVay uh, and Les were both like pretty adamant after Corey was signed. And then I think there are three guys uh, in the room now as well, um, that this was not a competition, uh, and saying, you know, that your resume speaks for yourself, which it obviously does. Mm -hmm. Um, so, so how do you take it when something like that is said publicly, uh, versus when moves like that are made? And then how do you sort of continue to, uh, and, 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 I might even be maybe phrasing this wrong, but how do you continue to like have it motivate yourself um, to compete, even though the head coach and the GM were both publicly said that it wasn't a competition? Yeah, I, I think the things that we say in, in press conferences can, can uh, you know, be just things that are said, you know, when, when push comes to shove, they have to make the best decisions for this roster um, at the end of the day. And for, you know, there's, you know, there's no running around the financial aspect of it too. So you got to do what you got to do um, to put together the best roster that you can. And Corey's wildly talented. And so I think for me to, to for a, a second, not think that this is a competition and not prepare myself every day, like it is a competition would be doing my, myself and this team a disservice. You know, I think 
Um, you know, every time we step on the field, every time we're in the weight room or in a meeting, it's a competition and I'm just doing what I can to make sure that I, it doesn't change my preparation and how I, how I approach every day out here. Um, you know, it's the kind of stuff that keeps you young. I think I'm, I'm enjoying it in <laughs> year 10, but I think the second that you take something for granted or something for a certainty in this league is, is the day you get surprised. So I'm just enjoying every day and, and just doing my best to prepare and help this team however I can. And then uh, one more, maybe a little bit more technical question. I'm hoping you can correct me if I'm super wrong about this, but um, when you guys are getting kick returners and rotating punt returners in and trying to establish um, who that's going to be, is it more helpful to have more guys punting with a live leg, especially I think Corey's left footed, right? Mm -hmm. Is it more, is it more helpful to like establish who's got a good feel at punt return when you're not just going against a jugs machine? Yeah, definitely. And adds a, it adds definitely another variable to the mix as far as getting live punts off a of foot. You know, jugs machines are very reliable because they shoot great rotation, great predictability everywhere. You know, wherever they're going to shoot the ball, it's going to be a clean rotation and spiral nose over however the guy's shooting it. But with balls off a leg, you can get a lot of variance. So I think being out here, you know, our practice facility is pretty windy. So that gives the guys another added bonus of that, um, you know, factor in their in their preparation for having to catch the ball. So it's just been a, a lot of fun to be out there with them. And yeah, at the end of the day, having three guys that you can go rapid fire with uh, is gonna help them be a lot better for sure. Thanks, Johnny. Thank you, Jordan. Kevin. Hi, Johnny. Um, how different have these OTAs felt uh, for, you know, from a special teams standpoint, given the number of changes uh, the, the unit has gone through since the last time you had a OTAs, which was two years ago. Yeah, that's really not something I had thought about, to be honest, Kevin, but it's, um, you know, it, it does feel a little different, you know, being, well, especially now having Jake and Jake and Greg both gone from that last OTA period I had, it's been, you know, a lot of change around me with personnel, but it's still, you get so much joy just being around the facility, being around the guys, um, being in the weight room with them on the field and just building that continuity and speaking the same language, going through different looks that you can get in practice. So, um, a lot of that, the football stuff hasn't really changed. The guys that I'm around have, has changed quite a bit. I'm definitely starting to feel like the old guy, but I'm still having a ton of fun every day, showing up with enthusiasm and just um, and giving it all I got. Les and Sean were pretty explicit about drafting guys in late rounds uh, with special teams in mind. Um, what are you seeing from some of those rookies, uh, you know, drafted and undrafted? And, uh, and then what are you seeing from the long snappers? Yeah, I it's a great group of guys, a really great group of guys. I, I think I tweeted something about that after after I saw some of the free agents and some of the late late round, late round draft picks we had. Excuse me, just just the the physical assets that a lot of these guys have. It's pretty incredible speed, body size, uh, and combinations of the two. You know, you look at some of the guys that were playing you know, offensive positions that have great special teams highlight reels of them making tackles making blocks and just being physical and not being afraid of contact. That's going to be something that's going to be huge for us. And I think across the board, they're all showing a willingness to learn, which is important. You know, no one's thinking I'm coming in here just to be a insert position name here. You know, they want to be a special teamer as well. So they understand that that's going to be paramount to our team success is them contributing. And that'll help them get on the field early and, and be a contributor as well. So um, any way we can get those guys caught up and, and ready to roll on special teams is going to help us in the long run. You know, the long snappers, uh, you know, we have Matt and Steven, and they're both great, great guys, work really hard. Um, we have a righty and a lefty. Matt's a right-handed guy. Um, Steven's left-handed. So the balls, the balls spin opposite directions, but it's really not anything that's, um, you know, too um, you know, formidable. <laughs> Nothing that you can't handle. It's just something you got to just kind of account for when you look and see the jersey numbers are different, but they will snap great balls. Um, you know, it'll be great to see once we can get pads on during training camp, how they're blocking and everything goes, but they both have great attitudes and work really hard. So I'm really glad with the two guys that we have. And I know that we're going to be, you know, well off at the snapper position. And the last one for me, special teams seem to be such a, a combination of specialties, guys who do things, you know, very specific, like what you do and then uh, teamwork and, communication and all those things you mentioned before. Um, can, can you kind of sum up what needs to be better or different about the special teams as you try to get back to the glory that 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 that, that, that this group, uh, you know, uh, had in, in, I guess, 2018 mainly? Yeah, yeah, I, th I think 
what's important for any team's success is, is great communication and then also just a belief in one another, um, you know, belief in what you're doing and, and belief in one another. So I think what we're going to just buy into Joe D's schemes, him and him and uh, coach Stukes have great plans, have really been great communicators with us as well. in all of our virtual meetings and things that we've been doing, you know, you can tell that the vision for what they want for us is concise and it's, it's, it's good football, you know? So I think the, the sooner we can all buy into that and just work together to learning the same languages, speaking the same terminology is going to help us be great. And uh, man, special teams, you have to have a lot of enthusiasm for what you do. You can't go out to practice and whole hum through it. You're not going to get any better. You know, you got to celebrate big plays, even in practice and, and let that energy be kind of a spark to the, you know, someone, someone calls special teams a transition phase between offense and defense or, or the, the opposite there, but you got to be a spark one way or another to, 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 to another, to, 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 to. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks guy. Hey, Johnny, appreciate you taking the time this afternoon. Um, just a, a follow-up question on some of the changes that you've been asked about. Um, you know, you basically had the same long snapper for what nine seasons and we're working out there with Jake. What's that, adjustment been like and on top of that how are you kind of working to build a rapport with guys like Matt and Steven here early on yeah it's you know I miss Jake you know every now and then Jake and Jake and Greg but definitely Jake now that he was you know here for last season now he's gone it'll be every now and then I'll be looking around saying hey do you guys remember when that guy was here and I look around and realize none of them were there when said player was not there so well, it was around and uh you know I, I wish him the best in Dallas I know he's got a great situation out there for himself and his family um, you know, to further his career and just, just keep turning out great seasons. But, uh, you know, I'm excited also to have, have fresh faces around new guys to meet, new guys to learn their um, quirks, things they're into, and just, you know, befriend them and then have a ton of fun working together to make this team better. You know, Matt and Steven both have great attributes. They're both big guys, really strong bodies, uh, both have good feet, can move pretty well, and, you know, have a lot of you know, great knowledge around special teams. Matt's been around a little longer than Steven has, but they both have good heads on their shoulders. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see when bolts really start flying with, with shoulder pads on, but right now they've been a real joy to work with. All right, that's all for today, Johnny. Thank you. Cool. Thanks, guys.